Hi guys, so we're back for another Keto in the Kitchen with Jasmine. And what we're going to be making today is one pot stuffed chicken breast. I hope you enjoy today's show. So today we're going to start by marinating chicken in a marinade that I created. This marinade contains all the leftover pickle juices, banana bell pepper juices, and also olive juices blended together. And what's going to happen is I'm going to soak a couple of pieces of chicken in with this marinade in a bag and I'm going to let it procure in the fridge for maybe about an hour or so just to get the juices in there and let it tenderize the chicken. This is my marinade. And for the chicken, I'm just using Kroger brand chicken breasts because one, it's affordable and it doesn't taste that bad. This is my chicken breast marinating and I'm going to put it in the fridge. I just chose one chicken breast because I'm not gonna eat a lot and it's actually quite large, it's huge. So just one. So since we are making chicken breast stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach, in a basically white wine lemon sauce. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the sun-dried tomatoes that I made in my oven with a little bit of salt the other day. And these are the tomatoes, they smell so good. Mm. These are the tomatoes that are going to go in the chicken breast. So um, if you wanna know how to do that, there's a lot of recipes out there. I might be putting a video out, but um, I'm gonna take you through this process. As a side, I'm serving yellow squash. I'm going to slice it up. And so here's my three yellow squash that I'll be using. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that. Everything is going to go in one pot though, eventually. So it's going to be a one pot cooking method. So I just rinsed my yellow squash in cold water. And what I'm going to do now is just slice it. I'll show you a shot of that. One thing that I did want to mention is that when you slice off the top of it, what I like to do that I learned from my mom who learned it from my great grandmother is I like to take it, the squash, and I like to um, basically rub it around on the other side of it. And I was told that this just gets rid of the bitterness out of the squash. So if this is correct, then that's just a little tip. Then of course, you just slice off a slice that you rub the bitterness off and then you're just going to discard that. I wanted to mention that the recipe that I'm making today was inspired by two different recipes, Spend with Pennies and Skinny Taste. And I'll post those in the description below for you. So I hope you enjoy my recipe. What I'm going to do for the sauce right now is I'm going to start off with a roux. So I'm going to take one stick of butter and two tablespoons of cornstarch, and I'm going to let the butter melt on a medium high heat. And once it melts, I'm going to stir in the cornstarch and then turn it down and add the rest of my ingredients. So here's my one stick of butter. And I've just added that to my one pot. And that stick of butter is unsalted. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. One, two, and we're just going to stir that around with a wooden spoon. Trying to get all the cornstarch to dissolve. And we're gonna turn down the burner. And then we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. The next ingredient I'm adding is one cup of dry white wine. One cup of dry white wine. And then of course, just give that a stir. Next, you'll wanna add one cup of vegetable broth. And then just stir it. Make all of the flavors blend together. It smells so good. 
Mm. Add one tablespoon of lemon juice. And three tablespoons of capers. And then give that a stir. Let the flavors blend together. So I just want to mention here that um, my sauce that I'm using for the chicken was inspired by chicken piccata sauce. And of course, then I'm doing chicken breast stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes and spinach and cheese. So it's kind of a blend of two different recipes because I like to get creative. Next, you're going to add one quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes to the sauce. Because of the roux or the sauce had gotten so thick, I added about half a cup of vegetable broth just to thin it out because there's cornstarch in it. And what cornstarch does is it will thicken up your sauce or your recipe. And now we're going to add the sliced yellow squash to the sauce. And we're just going to let it cook on a lower setting. So I just wanted to show you guys how the yellow summer squash looks in the piccata sauce. Looks like it's cooking really well. And I did a rough cut of my spinach, which I will be stuffing the chicken with. This is basically what the pickle juice does to the chicken. And now we're going to start working on the chicken breasts. My meat is now tenderized and I've cut it in half because it's such a large piece of chicken. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slices in each chicken so it creates like a pocket so I'm able to stuff the bird. With the smaller piece, I've decided to just do a roll up. So what we're gonna do now is just salt and pepper the chicken and we're gonna put also sprinkle a little bit of garlic and onion powder on it on each side. Now that my meat is seasoned, I'm heating up my pan and what we're going to do is we're going to pan sear the chicken. So my pan is set to medium high. And I'm going to add butter to the pan, just about one pat. So one pat to me is one tablespoon. And we're going to wait until the butter melts. Once it melts, we'll be able to put the chicken in. This is what my seared chicken breast looks like. It still needs to cook a little bit on the inside because the internal temperature of chicken needs to be 165 degrees. So I'm going to add a little bit more butter to a larger pan to put both breasts in and I'm gonna cook it on medium low so the insides cook, not the outside. And this is what it looks like in the pan. So as you can see, my squash are tender and they're cooked. So one of my chicken breasts is now fully cooked and I've decided to cut it in half and to try to assemble it that way because of the fact that it kept shrinking during cooking. So this is what I'm going to do with it and I'll show you how I'm going to assemble it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green goddess dressing that I made yesterday and I'm going to spread it on top of the chicken. Next, I'm going to put spinach on it and then sun-dried tomatoes. And now mozzarella cheese, and I'm going to use a mozzarella cheese stick. Um, I didn't have a lot growing up and when I was younger and I just learned to use what I had and try to get resourceful. So that's what I do now is if I don't have it, I'm not going to go out and buy it. I'm just going to make a recipe with whatever I have. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up and I'm going to put it on the chicken breast.
and then feta cheese and I'm going to use the last little bit before it goes bad because I like to get my money's worth. And then lastly for this recipe we're going to be using shredded Parmesan cheese. And now you're going to do the same thing to the second chicken breast, just cut it in half and put two toothpicks each to secure the chicken breast. And I'll give you a shot and show you what it looks like in the pot. So that concludes our show today and I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. I know I've enjoyed making it with you. Have a great day guys.